about piston. So this piston which I show here, this is one uh, piston for a generator. This is a piston for dihedral generators. So usually uh, for main engine generators, so I mean the, for main engine propulsion engines, the piston come with uh, two pieces like the top crown and skirt will be different. You can uh, dismantle both crown and uh, your skirt. But here uh, both are in one full piece. So this kind of piston you can uh, see in generators, compressors, like thing. So I would just like to give you some basic information about uh, this piston. So it may be useful for the beginners. So you can see here. Uh, this portion you call it as top line. This portion you call it as top line. And this groove you call it as piston ring groove where your uh, piston ring sits. And this you call it as skirt, skirt area. And uh, the difference between this area and this area is you can see a uh, special coating over here. You can see here. Uh, you can see the color difference. You got a very nice coating over here. And that is the reason whenever you do any overall of uh, this piston, you should never use a emery paper to clean this this area because uh, that will remove your uh, special coating. So, and this area, huh? this area you call it as combustion area, combustion where the combustion takes place. That area is called uh, combustion area. And you can see small holes. Huh? You can see holes. These holes are for lubrication. And uh, this groove is where your uh, oil ring come into place. Here you got your oil ring, oil scrapper ring or you can call it as oil control ring. It controls the oil flow to the liner and the piston. And here this is your gudgeon pin area where your uh, gudgeon pin sits and the gudgeon pin connects with your connecting rod. You can see this is your inner portion of your uh, piston inner portion of the piston and uh, you can see a uh, lube lubrication will be done from the crankshaft and from the crankshaft it flows through connecting rod and from connecting rod it goes to gudgeon pin and follows to the you can see here uh, you can see it goes till the inner side of your inner side of uh, piston so it cools the piston the lubrication oil will flow in this way only and you can see uh, this is your uh, stud this is your stud packing this is for uh, keeping uh, whenever you do any kind of maintenance we use the eye board fit it here and you can lift it and also one more thing uh, you can see uh, whenever uh, you are uh, uh, fixing back after your overall whenever you put back the piston in liner you have to check always your uh, this marking eh? you can see it here the marking F mark F mark that means this is your fuel pump side and you can see eh? all, all lot many marks over here this is all uh, Knox mark and this is 19-1-2018 all this uh, punch mark when it made all this thing will be here so 16.09 kilo this is your piston weight and everything so that's all so this is uh, some basic information about piston nothing much not in depth so next uh, main whenever you do overall whenever you do overall main thing that you need to see is uh, you have to check for any cracks you have to do that uh, uh, testing crack testing on top land like in the combustion chamber to ensure there is no crack in the piston and also you have to check the grooves for any damage or something and you have to check this gudgeon pin area for any abnormal abnormalities and you have to check the body the skirt area for any cracks or like any abnormal damages all these things you have to check so i think uh, I have given you some basic information about the uh, piston. So if you have any doubt on this, you can put it in the comment box. Definitely I will reply you. Thanks for watching.